Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we move to the next fight. These fighters will be fight on belt. Let's meet first. Fighter. I know that uh, my opponent was in USA, he had uh, multiple uh, fights, and he is a good opponent. Max, prepare your jaw. Okay, let's be ready for strong and fast punch. It's time for round number one. All right, Daniel, co-main event of the evening at Slap Fighting Championship Underground. The title is on the line here. This is a light heavyweight contest as we take a look at the tail of the tape between Maniac and Mad Max. Big guys, uh, big slaps. Uh, and uh, we will have a, I hope so, we will have uh, maybe a big knockout. I think that Mad Max could have the edge here. Uh, he certainly has a lot more experience than Javinsky has. Uh, he's taller, and we've seen in previous fights here tonight that sometimes height does make uh, a difference here. But I think that Mad Max also has a different mindset coming into this thing. I heard Javinsky say uh, in his pre-fight interview he's not perhaps willing to push the limits all the way. I mean, he has a day job, he's a cook. Uh, he, he, you know, he's a, a personal trainer. Maybe he doesn't want to completely risk it. Whereas you can just tell by looking at Mad Max right now, the way he's pa uh, pacing back and forth, he just looks like he's a different breed of cat. You said uh, something about uh, Mad Max uh, advantage, uh, experience advantage. Uh, he uh, was even a finalist uh, of uh, slap uh, fighting uh, competition. Uh, he has uh, lots of uh, fights. We will see how he will do in the first round. Whoa! Hey, good night! What a shot there from Mad Max. And I think that our predictions may have come true. He did not end it, ladies and gentlemen. It is not over yet. But that's about as close as you can get. Let's have another look here. Watch this. Bam! Great technique, the way he was winding up for that one. And he really uncorked one hell of a shot there that I don't think Mariusz Gravinski was completely prepared for. I think uh, he got uh, shocked uh, by, by the first uh, contact <laughs> with his opponent's uh, hand. I'll say. Look at this. Oh, man. Like a lightning bolt there, just striking Maniac right across the face. And you can see that his legs gave out there and he went into convulsions a little bit. But let's say it, uh, we could expect it uh, from uh, Leśniak's uh, side. We don't know what to expect uh, from uh, Grzewinski. Uh, if, he, if he will be uh, strong, if he will have a strong hit, uh, if he will be able uh, to and, uh, turn the things around. And it's also his disadvantage because he got hit first. And so if he were the one to hit first, maybe it would be different. But now he's got a hit after being hit. Oh, not even close. Not even close to the kind of damage that Mad Max was able to inflict. This is this is a completely lopsided contest at this point, and I'm, yeah, no way. Um, if he's going to compete with Mad Max, that's that's not going to cut it. Well, things are really going to get interesting now, Daniel. <laughs> we move into round number two. I am a little bit concerned here uh, in the immediate future for the health and the safety of Mariusz Grzewinski. Things could get ugly here and they could get ugly very quickly. We can see how he reacted to, to his uh, opponent's hit. Punch raised, uh, he feels very strong, very confident and uh, he will have a second opportunity. Now, Grzewinski says he's a, a cook in Italy. He might be drinking through a straw for the next couple days. We know that Mad Max has the ability to put people out. We've seen it before. Is he going to switch it up? Is he going left-handed now? 
Maybe he's ambidextrous. Or maybe he injured his right hand. Oh, he's going right-handed. Oh, and he put him out. He put him out, and this one is history, ladies and gentlemen. I can't say we didn't expect it, but that is a KO victory for Mad Max. Another uh, KO uh, in the slap fighting uh, career uh, of uh, Mad Max, uh, Maximilian Lesniak. Well, that second slap was the cherry on top of the cake, ladies and gentlemen. You can see that Kjavinsky is okay. He's made it back up to his feet. Somebody will have to inform him what happened later. <laughs> but another good knockout victory here for Maximilian Lesniak, Mad Max. He still doesn't have a clue where he is. Take one more look at it. Boom! Right upside the head that time. And this time, the security was right on point that time and, and able to catch him. Everybody in the house knew what was coming. It was, the only question was how bad it was going to be. Well, there he is, your new champion, Maximilian Leshniak. Does it again? After a brilliant knockout in America at Slap Fight Championship 1 in front of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Logan Paul, does it again here tonight in Poland. He's going to be tough to beat in future editions of Slap Fighting Championship. Hello, a slap fighter, Maximilian Lechniak. Mad Max. Uh, Max is even more mad right now. Another KO scored at the SFC.